Okay, let's take a look at the word vampire. Now, we're dealing with a slightly more difficult word here, but it's not that bad. So, let's look at the word V. When the V starts a word, this is a little tricky, especially when it leads into an A. The letter V is normally drawn like this, like an arrow, but this includes what is called the word line. Some letters, like the L, the C, the T, can be attached to a line and that will then follow into preceding and following letters. So that vertical line down the middle of the V is not absolutely necessary, especially when it starts a word. In this case, we can just go like this, V, A, M, P, I, R, E. Now I had to conserve space right at the bottom there, I'm not quite sure if it fit, that was my mistake. So let's try this once more quickly and try to make it a little nicer. V, A, M, P, I, R, E. Okay, so here we've got the word vampire. Now let's look at some double letter combinations to make this look a little nicer. First of all, AM. A plus M equals AM. So, VAM, P, I. Now the I can also be connected into there, as long as you can clearly see that kind of missing piece of pi that makes you sure that it's an I, not an enclosed O or an E. If there was an O, you would have to connect it here and make it full, so you can see why that is an I, because it's got this missing pi cut out of it. R, E. Okay, so here we've got vampire it's starting to look a little better. One more thing we can do to make it maybe look better, depending on your, your preference, draw the A, and then attach the V directly onto the A line. So you'd have to draw the first part of the A a little extra long, as you can see. So let's try that and see if we can't make a nice looking version of the word vampire. Let's try to fit it into a box now. We're going to have to move some angles, but we'll see what we can do with it. So, A, V. P, I. Uh, let's go back and fill this side. R, E. Okay, as you can see, we're starting to work towards a more square-shaped kind of design. Uh, we can also have some fun with it, and we can kind of draw it off on angles. You can really play around with it, see what you, see what you can do with it. And I'm sure you can come up with some creative uh, ideas of your own.